Hello, Brian Comerford from Classroom Guidance here again with our 26th video. What is an arts degree and why you do one? Arts degrees are amazing, but complicated and varied. It is my experience that many students don't really get what they are or the enormous opportunities they can offer. An old joke when I was in college was, what do you say to someone with an arts degree? Can I get fries with that? But looking at this perception now, we were very, very wrong. Here's a small sample of some art graduates. Jack Leeson, Game of Thrones star, is a student of philosophy and theology in Trinity. JK Rowling, author of Harry Potter, has a BA in French and Classics. Ryan Tuberty, studied Greek and Roman civilization in UCD. Chris O'Dowd, Ross Commons finest, studied politics and sociology in UCD. Camilla Harris, studied political science and economics. Oscar-nominated Ruth Nega has a BA in acting studies from TCD. Talk show host Graham Norton studied English and French at UCC. Miho Martin completed an MA in political history in UCC. Boris Johnson studied classics. Joe Biden studied history and political science. About half of your teachers have an arts degree. It is the most popular degree in Ireland. And because they have lots of places, they are generally okay for CAO points, i.e. not crazy. In some people's perception, they are lesser because the points are lower. This is nonsense and it is just a consequence of a very unfair Irish application system that is obsessed with points. The best course is the one that is most interesting to you. Arts has something for everyone with a huge amount of choice. They are very flexible and don't tie you down to a specific profession. Let's look at Maynooth University's arts degree MH101 for example. There is a choice of 34 separate subjects in 6 groupings. About half of the subjects will be familiar to you from school, like Geography, German, Maths, Business, History, Music, English, Economics, Guelga, Spanish Accounting and French. And about half will be new to you, like Law, Philosophy, Criminology, International Development, Anthropology, Finance, Latin, Music Technology, Computer Science, Sociology, Chinese Studies, Greek and Roman Civilization, Media and Cultural Studies, Medieval Celtic Studies, Politics, and psychological studies. To get an understanding of these new subjects, find the module descriptor on the university page and read the learning outcomes. In UCC's arts course, CK101, and just because UCC have the most accessible website for viewing module descriptors, Google CK101 UCC, click on the top of the list, Arts Degree Cork, scroll down to the subjects, notice they are hyperlinked, Click on the subjects you don't know about and you think you might be interested in. Read and scroll down and click on the module code. Here we choose the 10 credit module Key Issues in Sociology SC1006 and this brings you to the descriptor. Read the module content to see if you care about learning about globalization, politics, culture, family, migration, gender, etc. So what could be more interesting? Now you have a much better understanding of what could lie ahead in college. Check out our module guide in the video linked above. Back to Minute because they have a huge range of subjects. In one, two, three, four, five, and six different groups. You can do two, three, or four subjects in first year. In first year, you get one whole month to choose. You can't pick more than one per group. So your degree could look like law, criminology, sociology, and psychological studies in first year. And then in second year, you choose to drop two subjects and get a joint honors degree in law and criminology. Or first year could look like German, music technology, computer studies, and politics, and get a joint honors degree in computer studies and German. The skills you gain are valued by employers. A degree with languages and computer science are in high demand. Employers also understand that an arts degree produces graduates with adaptability, creativity, critical thinking, cultural understanding, written and verbal skills, and empathy. In a world where technology is in the process of making many jobs redundant, these skills have become even more valuable. Arts graduates often start on lower salaries than science, ICT, engineering, business, and finance graduates, but will have caught up and can surpass others in five years they can end up in leadership roles due to their range of understanding of different areas of the human experience, making them often better decision makers. 26% of art graduates go on to postgraduate studies like masters, higher diplomas and doctorates. Arts graduates can do nearly anything. They can be solicitors, barristers, musicians, theatre, film, archaeologists, 
journalists, business analysts, teachers, primary and secondary, politicians, ICT computers, social workers, customer service experts, civil servants, banking and finance, heritage, marketing, sales, childcare, public relations, translators, human resources. So where can you do one? All universities have an arts, humanities faculty and some of the colleges and institutes of technology. They all have slightly different subjects and groups. For example, UCD has linguistics, which the others don't. NUIG only allows three subjects in first year, but then you can move on to a full psychology or full law degree after year one, if your results are good enough. Arts degrees are usually three years long, but some, like Trinity, offer four years. Institutes of technology have less subject choice than the universities, but they could suit you. So all the colleges offer a different version of an arts degree playing to their own particular strengths. So have a good look and investigate and don't underestimate them. If you haven't already, like, share and subscribe to stay up to date with our video guides. Thank you.